So what is a quality of earnings report and how does that affect management and their incentives in their job? So to start with, a quality of earnings report is used really to assess the quality of earnings, meaning that you're trying to identify how reliable, how dependable uh, the revenue of a company is. Generally, this arises when the company is being purchased, but there are various other scenarios where you would want to do this level of due diligence to make certain that the revenue that the company is receiving, one, is dependable, two, it's, uh, whether it's one-time revenue or whether it's a form of recurring revenue, what are the sources of revenue, has the uh, revenue actually been collected or is it owed, that is, it, it, that is, is it an account receivable for the company, that type of thing. All of these things go into some calculation of the value of the earnings for the company. And how does this affect management or the incentives that management has? Well, <clears throat> so many management incentives are based upon company valuation or your recording of the revenue that the company has received. If the revenue that the company receives is less dependable or is recurring or is not recurring in nature, it's going to be more or less valuable based upon that. So the quality of earnings report generally goes to how you're going to value the company. Now, oftentimes management receives a share of profits. Uh, if profits include profits that have not yet been collected, one element of a quality of earnings analysis, then once again, it could affect management's incentive in terms of how they record those profits and to what level they or extent they share in the, the supposed, if not actual, profits of the company. Performance bonuses, the exact same way. Oftentimes, performance bonuses are based upon the total productivity or profitability of the company. Depending on how you record revenue and uh, once again how that affects valuation that could be an element of performance uh, uh, that could be an element used in determining the performance bonus so again their quality of earnings affects management's incentive by virtue of how they are incentivized with the bonus okay if the company is being sold right obviously a valuation is going to take place at that time the primary metric for valuing a company is not the value of its assets, it's the present value of future cash flows. That is, the value of the business is as a going concern. With that being said, the dependability or quality of the revenue being received, whether it's recurring, the sources, all of these types of things will affect how the company is valued and what multiple, as they say, of revenue or profits is employed to value the company. This relates very closely to how management is incentivized as part of that process. Oftentimes, management owns an interest in the company. Generally, management is uh, compensated with some form of, in addition to salary, option to purchase stock in the company. Whether this is as part of an employee stock option plan where they're awarded uh, options based upon service over time, kind of in the form of a, a retirement account, perhaps, if you will, or whether they're given incentive stock options for the given performance of the company, uh, either qualified or non-qualified, both fit into that realm. But once again, it depends upon valuation of the company based upon revenue. And to do so, you need to understand or know the quality of that revenue. But stock options, once again, by its very nature, are an incentive that seeks to motivate in some way management actions or activities. Uh, and then earnouts. That is, once a company has been sold and management is employed to stay with the company after it has been sold to the acquirer to continue operations, the earnout calculation is generally management will receive some lump sum of money uh, based upon the continued performance of the business. And it's made to incentivize management to continue 
to run the business successfully. But whenever you have a metric that is going to be uh, used to determine the uh, incentive amount or value that a manager is to receive, that is obviously going to incentivize the management's actions, uh, probably in the way of maximizing whatever element will go into the calculation of the value that they receive. So, collectively, these are all ways that the quality of earnings report is employed, generally as part of the valuation process that can have an effect on management's incentives uh, in how they carry out their duties and responsibilities to the business.